And so this is what we're using for a vegetable lasagna. We're using vegetables instead of lasagna sheets to keep it on SP. Um, so we've got some butternut squash, some mango, some cauliflower cauliflower and some peas um, along with some onions that we've uh, Rufus diced I just fried those off this morning with a little bit of the garlic fry light um, mix that in with two tins of tomatoes and a tub of passata and then all of the liquid from the peas because we've got a, quite a bit of um, vegetables in this now you could use any vegetables you could use pretty much whatever you've got in your fridge so if you've got lots of broccoli put broccoli in if you've got courgettes put those in whatever you've got um, but then what I'm using is Rufus sliced up some marrow in that so I've just got some marrow slices and we're just layering up the slices as you would do with the um, with the courgette and this is going to feed hopefully uh, well it would easily feed a, probably a family of six for a, a sort of main meal um, and tonight this will actually feed um, four of us at our um, support group that we run so this is just the mango layers uh, not mango the marrow layers mango that would be a whole different thing that would be a pudding that might be quite nice actually to do a pudding with marrow instead um, um, and it's a bit like a, a jigsaw puzzle you've probably seen the other one that Rufus did the big meat lasagna this is exactly the same principle just using the same this time we're just using the marrow sheets instead of the courgette sheets but it's exactly the same principle putting on another layer of the vegetables and making sure that that covers um, all of the vegetable sheet underneath if you don't want to use the vegetable sheets you can always obviously use the um, lasagna sheets we've got some vegetable based lasagna sheets as well so they're always good um, if you don't want to cut up your own you can always buy the butternut squash sheets that Sainsbury's do um, the butternut squash lasagna sheets they're useful we've tried those before and again it's just a case of covering up we're probably only going to do three layers of the vegetables because it's quite thick these vegetables um, normally with the meat you can probably get away with a few more layers because obviously the mince and that cooks down quite small but with the cauliflower in as you can see there's not a lot of space so I'm going to do another layer of the marrow sheets um, just layer those up on the top just slice those as you can see Rufus has sliced those really thinly makes it a lot easier and then you just jigsaw them together if you want to you can do a layer of white sauce you could put a layer of um, quark in between it's entirely up to you we, we just like doing the tomatoes because that keeps it super super on plan I am going to put a layer on top though a little thin layer of um, salt and peppered quark just seasoned quark just on top so it's got a little bit of a, a sort of almost like a white sauce but just with some quark and then these are just the last couple of pieces of the marrow oh can't get them out and then it is just a case of filling up any of the spaces as such like so is there one more piece yeah there's one more piece there so that looks I'll just put that onto there as well so you don't want it to be too thick but you want to make sure it's sort of all the layers are covered and then the last layer of the vegetables which are just going to sit on top as you can see maybe we should use the thicker I should have used a thicker um, a deeper dish for this but it should be okay Rufus had the good idea last time of putting it on a tray in the oven because some of the juices will overrun just because of the nature of it but that's not a problem so I'm gonna to have to do that obviously this time as well and in fact I'm not entirely certain whether there's gonna be enough room for any more because there's not a great deal as you can see that's already over the edge so I might just leave it with the vegetables on the top I don't know yet spread that out so it's not too dry on top it should be okay because there's obviously a lot of moisture coming from underneath laid up some sliced butternut squash over the top um, and just sort of pushed it down to make sure everything's nice and firm so it's just on the top of the, the, the dish and then I've got some quark here which I've just put some salt and pepper and some of the Italian herbs into and I'm just going to layer that on the top um, and then we'll bung it in the oven for about 45 minutes 
Yeah, that's what it looks like with the quark and the tomatoes on top. So it's just some sliced tomato on top for decoration. The quark's got the herbs and the cracked black pepper running through it. That's going to go in the oven now on about a gas mark six for about 35, 45 minutes. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. But I've got to say, it looks yummy. Okay, so I've just taken it out and that's what it looks like um, when it comes out of the oven. In fact, it came out a little while ago, so it's cooled down. And that, just to give you a sideways shot, that's what it looks like with its layers. Um, tastes nice, yeah, tastes yummy. And uh, that is the lasagna. That's a vegetable lasagna with vegetable uh, sheets. And that is free on plan. We're at our group. Uh, we've got this, which is going to a member that couldn't come today, which is in a takeaway tub. I mean, that is all that's left from the uh, lasagna. And then Rufus did a massive tray bake of pasta, vegetable pasta. And there's hardly any of that left as well. So that went down remarkably well as well. So there you go. All seem to have gone down. There you go. You've seen um, it from start to finish. So we will see you on the next video. As always, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. Leave a comment in the comment section, by the way. Rufus, what do we always say? Happy slimming. Happy slimming.